In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings upon you all. Dear students, today we talk about the Decker's algorithm of our critical section problem. Okay? We saw the Peterson's algorithm. In fact, we should have first done the Decker's algorithm because it was done in 1964. And it was the first algorithm uh, which actually solves the two process critical section problem okay so it uh, we see the code of it and um, it's kind of simple it's kind of same uh, we did it in a Peterson but Peterson was in uh, the Peterson algorithm was done in 1981 and this guy was in 1964 so the in Peterson's algorithm is obviously gonna be a little better in the sense it's more simple and uh, it is it's it's uh, busy wheel loop is much efficient now we'll try to see that also but let's first see the Decker's uh, algorithm what you gotta do is firstly a uh, couple of flags and turn we have these things like in person we have here also so firstly <coughs> you make your flag as a true so what you what are you trying to do with that is you are making an intention uh, to enter the critical section now, when you are uh, your intentions to enter critical section is done, that you have made your flag as a true. Now you check whether the other guy, the process P1, has uh, its intentions to enter critical section. That is done by checking the F1. If, say, for example, this guy has come up and he has made the F1 true, so we'll check it here because uh, out of the two processes, only one should enter the critical section. So we see while F1 means if F1 is true, that means other processes also has an intention to enter the critical section then the turn will decide who actually go into the critical section but this algorithm makes sure that only one process enters the critical section so what it says is if turn not equal to zero that's if I don't it is not my turn okay zero is for this guy process p0 and p, for p1 turn is one so if turn is one then this is not a problem it, this will not run okay actually that will come out of it and it will go for a critical section but if turn is not equal to zero that means it's not my turn so what it does is it's more submissive type algorithm more polite it will simply uh, make its flag as false well if, if you saw the Peterson algorithm uh, there it's more uh, like uh, aggressive uh, I mean it, it gives chance to others but uh, it stays in a play but here uh, it, it simply releases its flag it's saying okay you may enter the critical section so it's a more polite way of doing things okay so then after that it makes its flag false now it waits for the turn uh, until the turn is not equal to zero while turn not equal to zero it keeps testing okay so it, it stays in this busy wait loop forever until the turn doesn't become the zero back okay when the turn becomes zero it breaks out of this inner while loop it makes its flag as true and it enters the critical section okay does it make sense but it, it can come it comes out of this while loop only when the turn becomes zero um, okay it comes out of this uh, while loop as you see here okay now the if block is from here to uh, here okay uh, so but it stays in this while loop until the F1 because maybe uh, the turn has become 1 and F uh, it makes its flag true but at the same time again the F1 has come and make, it, make its flag true so its intentions again there so it will come up again here so it will stay here okay it will come back here and if sees if turn is not equal to 0 again it chucks this turn so that the turn actually gonna decide uh, who will enter the critical section right so same thing will be done by the p1 okay <clears throat> and, but, but if you see uh, the Peterson algorithm lastly we discussed here uh, we say it, 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 it uh, you know uh, uh, make, makes its flag as a true that means it's saying I'm interested so its intention for entering critical section it gives chance to other guy by making turn one okay but then when it sees the flag as well as turn is this guy is true 
then it does nothing okay but it doesn't make its flag as zero um, false it doesn't make its flag false so it doesn't drop its intention but here uh, if you see it's gonna drop its intention so that's a kind of uh, actually slowness and drawback of this uh, Decker's algorithm it, it wor works fine but it may starve uh, at times because it makes its flag as uh, false here okay so it, it's it's waiting for this guy uh, until it makes uh, you know uh, so it, what you what, what happens is at the end uh, when you are done critical section it makes turn as zero and when it's done here it makes turn one so this loop is actually waiting for this guy until it doesn't make its turn zero right so that's the kind of problem so it will it, it so it may run uh, it may it may run in in this loop forever if say for example this crashes in the critical section okay so there is some other things we got to do uh, otherwise it will starve here so what we do is we have to run some aging uh, factors here so if it is waiting for a long time and the turn doesn't become the zero here uh, so it will come out of the while loop okay uh, so this is the kind of thing but if you see the if you see this guy Pearson's algorithm here uh, it it's it's simply uh, not making um, you know uh, it says flag p0 is true okay then a turn as one it so it gives chance to the other guy that's not a problem because it's not but um, uh, here it, it's it chucks the flag uh, as well as turn of other guy and uh, if that is out of the term will not be true then does the critical section but it's not making its flag false and waiting for something uh, which is going uh, on the other side because uh, it has to wait for other side and then make its flag true so it's very simple it's a kind of simple it's not uh, that different than Decker algorithm but it is a kind of simple lesser steps and uh, more efficient this busy weight loop okay now only difference between the Decker and the Peterson algorithm is setting and resetting of flags okay in Decker it use reset and set flag but here you don't reset and set flag so we can say in Peterson algorithm it's more dominant and in Decker's algorithm it's more polite it gives uh, chances to other guys uh, very politely okay it's not so dominant otherwise uh, they are kind of same okay okay so both of these uh, are like saying that uh, I'm interested here uh, like here saying I'm interested but if you are interested so and it's your turn uh, so it, it's if it is your turn this one says you yeah, you are interested this one says I am interested okay so I'm interested but if you are also interested and it's your turn I gonna wait forever okay then I when uh, you 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 have done and you made my turn back to zero I will say okay I'm interested back I am interested again okay because uh, here uh, F0 is false so it says I am not interested so I, I leave my interest here this is the difference in the Pearson Decker okay then uh, when you have uh, when you wait you can wait forever uh, until uh, this guy is not done so when it is done you come back and say okay I'm now interested and you start doing the critical section and then you could turn to the other guy that you say it's your turn same will be happen here that you say I am interested here okay uh, I'm interested but if you are interested and it's not my turn it's your turn it's your turn then I gonna wait before that I gonna say I'm not interested not interested so I'm leaving my interest altogether. I wait, I wait forever in this loop until this other guy is not done. When uh, that is done, it makes a turn back to me. I will say, okay, I'm interested back. I am interested. When you are interested, you can do the critical section if condition is if other guy is not interested. So you can do the critical section and make turn to zero, give other guy a chance. Okay. So this is how both the algorithms work. Only thing is. Uh, resetting the flag is not done better so it's a kind of little simpler otherwise uh, both are same okay so that's all for the Decker's algorithm next we see the uh, Lamport Bakery's algorithm which is for the multiple processes what if we have n processes and so on okay see you
in the next lecture.